Hi everyone, this is TVGS. I'm Nemsa, and with me here is Leon. Yo. And welcome to The Thumb, where we take a quick look at any product and we decide whether it's a thumbs up or a suck thumb. Okay, so what do we have here with us, Leon, other than the Jiku drivers? Okay, what we have here is today is that to commemorate the commemorate. <laughs> <laughs> to commemorate the release of the CB08 boosters, mm -hmm. uh, that is releasing on the 23rd. Yeah, yep. I'm going to look at the poster. <laughs> <laughs> and also the upcoming event on the 24th at Latendo. Uh -huh. Links in the description below. We are sponsored this item from. World of, of Shokugan. So thank you very much for sponsoring us all these items. <laughs> okay, so where should we start? It seems like there are quite a number of things that we have here. Mm, actually, they're from each individual toys uh, that was uh, passed to us here. Okay, we can start with the Ride Watchers, shall we? Okay. Okay, so what we have here is the Ride Watch from the SG series. Ah, uh. uh, yes, the mm. Shokugan series. Mm. Okay, so uh, these watches, as you can see, they are pretty much like the normal ride watches for the Tiku driver if mm -hmm. you actually own one of these things. Yep. Okay, but uh, there are some differences, right, Dempster? Yes. I'm still not too sure, can you? Okay, uh, one of the main differences is that these uh, SG ride watches are different from the DX in that they cannot turn the, the, the front cover and they don't have the button for you to press it on, I think. Mm, okay. I think they, that's, that should be the case, yeah. Normally they don't have it. What else is different about it? Uh, other than that, um, I actually don't know. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the reason why we're doing this video. We're about yep. to find out. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the packaging is pretty simple. Uh, it yeah. explains to you right on the back and you how you should attach it together with the Chiku driver as well. Mm. And it has an instruction at the back that says one, two, three, to four different sounds. Yes, when you press the button at the back, it is. Yes. Okay. So the first uh, we elaborate will have its uh, name, then mm. the. What's the second one? Then? The explanation of the rider. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is the henshin. Mm -hmm. And lastly is the hisatsu waza, the finisher. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so let's open it up and have a look inside. Okay. Oh, it came with, uh, with the candy. I love these kind of things when they you know uh, when they when they come up with mini plus and things like that. Because they always have these candies and they taste good. I'm not eating it. Uh, I'm not having enough. <laughs> okay, later. Okay, anyways, here is the toy itself. It looks pretty okay. Yeah. Just that uh, it does lack a bit of a uh, detail if you ask me. Well, from what I remember, mm. the DX toys are what somewhat translucent, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they have a bit of a clear pattern, I guess. Mm. But more importantly, it comes in two layers and it's spinnable, so it it follows closer to the actual show compared just, to just this. Yeah, this is a bit more uh, plain looking, and it's mm. uh, you cannot since you cannot turn, so the entire sticker is straight up. Some people prefer it this way. Yeah, because right, it's the... easier because it tells you where to insert it in if you're not very smart. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Well, if you're unsure of how to place these right watches, the direction of the rim tells you exactly where. Okay, so what do we have here is a, a, Vol uh, a Volt watch. This is phase one, right? Yeah, phase one. Phase Cobra, one. the Evo Cobra. Evo Cobra. And yes. this is Kamen Rider Forze, which on its own has a DX as well. Hmm. So this is the cheaper alternative. Yes. Okay, uh, no print and as like any other toys, there is a tap gate to pull out. That's noisy. <laughs> okay, it's not as loud as the DX for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the DX ones are much louder. Mm -hmm. But okay, but it does get the job done. It's pretty nice. Oh, you just press the button. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's the one. Wow. Okay, so basically <laughs> when you push this button here, uh -huh. the trigger, it will set off the switch. Yes. So if I press this button here Okay, so I push it again <laughs> So yep. I'll press for the last one for its finish time What is it? Evo Charge? Evo Charge, yeah Oh, okay I kind of that's, the, that's, the, that's the finishing, okay? Mm. Mm. And then there's a reset button, I believe, here. Yes, right at the, back. At the bottom, right beside the QR code. Mm. Where you press it, it will reset, reset it back to the first sound. So, yes. signal that is very much different from the DX toy. But mm. why don't we put it into the DX driver and see how it goes? But, but we only have one of this. So, okay, it doesn't really matter, but it would be nicer to everyone, right? Then. Oh, you mean this? Alright, of course. We both and we, try yeah, we both, this. and we both have GO and Gates. Yep. Let's give it a try. Yes. Ready? Okay. Yep. Go inside. Ah, Jen! 
This is just like Sogo and the first time the Jiku tries Okay, okay, better. <laughs> now, for this. I'm on this one. Oh, easy. Easy, yeah. Hmm. Aside from the overly noisy stuff that we are doing, I actually can't hear the uh, Volt one that well. I mean, yeah. I, I can't hear. I the mean, there is there is the light that came out for the year the riders came in, mm. but that's it. Yes, is there correct. any sound that comes out? Normally, there should have. Let me. Maybe we can try that again and okay, see. Okay, let's do it one by one. Is it? You do it. First. All right. Okay. Yeah, there is no sound for for the false A right watch, which is kind of sad. Okay, so. Yeah, there's no armor time. But I did hear something. Uh, when you put the Evo right watch in, it says right watch. Um, evoke mm. the, the sound. So basically, it, you can still use it as per normal, but you mm. won't get the same effect. Obviously, you get out of the the DX right watches. Yes, correct. Yeah. Such as the the fires one here. Yeah. So that makes a huge difference between mm. our oh, fires. Yes. Where do you get that from? From Takumi, of course. But anyways, so <laughs> <laughs> so the DX one that will trigger all the sounds because of the way that the the button works. Mm. However, for the Shogun ones, will not have any of that because they are more. Uh, they're triggered by pushing the back button here. Yes. So it's quite different. So mm. yeah, take note. So but this is a very good collector edition stuff. When uh collector stuff when you want to collect all of the riders right watch. Because only the Shogun will produce some of the lesser known riders for some cases. Yes. As well as uh, riders that will, they will not produce. Mm. So they will have a whole set of Shogun right watches. Yeah. All the way down. Especially for collecting if you're not very hard on, on the mechanics of the DX right watches. So now with that out of the way, let's move on to the next product of the day. Okay. So what do we have here? This is what uh, what is called the Solo series. It has been around, I think, ever since. Or well, the last, the very furthest back I saw was uh, Exit, but it could be more before that. But the most popular one would be Build. Yes, actually, uh, I think even before that, was it? But I think so. Yeah. Mm. But what we have over here are the Go Solo um, Solo series, and basically what it is is just very simplified. Um, plastic models mm -hmm. that you can mix and match between each other to form different forms like mm -hmm. how a Kamen Rider should be. Mm -hmm. So over right. here we have, uh, what is this? This is the exit armor, right? Yes, correct. The exit, yeah, the exit armor. armor for the body set, the number mm -hmm. two. Correct. <laughs> the number two. Number two. <laughs> and then this is the number one, I think. Oh, yes. this is volume two. Also. So number yes. one, this is, uh, this is the armor that comes with both GO and Gates forms. Mm -hmm. So, well, that's cool. Okay. So already we can mix and match that. Then yeah. the last one we have here is build and ghost. No, no it just ghost armor, I believe. Ghost yeah. armor with Geo's head. Uh, with uh, with Geo's build head. Uh, no, ghost head. Sorry. Basically, yeah, ghost, basically ghost, the whole set. This box oh, comes ghost. with the. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it comes with the ghost. ghost set of the right. But so basically, yeah. what happens is that you need to purchase first. You need to have a body, mm -hmm. and then the armor. Armor time. Yes. So yeah. So uh, from what I understand, usually it also comes with a candy as well. Uh, yeah. yeah, it does. Uh, there's also an instruction manual inside actually. Yes, if you tear up the boxes along the dotted lines, mm -hmm. it will reveal an instruction manual at the back to tell you how to fit all these pieces together. Yep. Mm. So don't throw these away just yet. Unless you know what you're doing, so. Yeah. Right. And okay, I have actually played with um, the built Sodo series before. I've got quite a bunch of them, uh, so it's really really fun. The parts are all very simplified, most of the details come from the stickers. But they are very easy to build and uh, rather fun. Uh, I said that quite a few times already. <laughs> so let us just uh, quickly take it out. Okay, mm -hmm. on its own, um, it's quite plain. I mean, it is still a simple toy. Mm -hmm. So, but this is the body for Zo. But you can swap the head up. Yeah, the default head. Does it have another head? No. No, no. Oh, okay, just a minute. So yeah, this is the Zo body. Mm -hmm. Some parts are painted, but you know what's what at least. And it mm -hmm. comes with some stickers for you to use on. So. And also extra hands for you to um, pose with. Pose with. Yes. 
Okay, uh, these are all just individual parts, but they're basically the armor for the exit armor. So we've got both heads for Geo and Gates. It's very hard to see. I'll get out here first. Mm -hmm. And some of the other parts as well. I'm still trying to take them out. There's a lot of small parts. Now, while in the meantime, uh, it, it obviously comes with a sticker to fill up the blanks for mm. the, some of the details that is missing here, such yep. as the uh, Chiku driver and whatnot. So mm. uh, while he takes out his parts, I will start placing the stickers in okay. so that we can have a good look at how he looks like roughly. Alright. So most of the things over here are. Uh, well, it comes with a stand as well, so you can pose your. You can pose your geo or gates in a flying uh, uh, in in the in a rider kick fashion, which unfortunately, based on experiences from the from the build series, the poses aren't very um, aren't very friendly because they are not very well articulated. But for basic, I think it's pretty cool. Mm. So how how is it going, Dion? Yeah, it's just pasting sticker parts like any model. <laughs> it's kind of remind me of the uh, mini blast series, but of course the mini blast one a uh, bit much more. Uh, mm, yes. Yeah. But well, okay, we'll come back to you shortly once we are done with the sticking. Yeah, you know this will take a while. Alright, we have spent quite a great deal of time trying to piece them all together and this is what we got. Iwae! <laughs> Zenlider no Chikara! <laughs> Unfortunately, this is nothing much to Iwae about because like, wow. we have established this is not a very expensive kind of toy. But, but, cheap. Mm -hmm. but, but, the fun thing about it is that when you piece it together, you get an oddly satisfying result. It's yeah. not, uh, most of the stickers covers the detail. I, I mean, it's pretty okay actually. Most important details. The more important details. Uh, uh, no? So I think it's pretty okay and it actually brings up quite a bit of fun you know, in building. It's like a simple model kit. Yes. And also, we came to notice that because as it comes with a stand, it comes with a pose for the character as Tamsin mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you can do your rider cakes and whatsoever not. And also, it can also be used as an armor stand. Right? Yes, it does. Yes. yes. Because there are certain articulations, uh, there are certain joints at the stands that allows you to place your remaining armor pieces um, onto it so that you don't lose it yes that which is, is a plus point uh, as compared to the camarader build Soto series so in a way when you think about it it's actually not that bad you can uh, you not only can get a, uh, a whole lineup of armors if you've mm -hmm. got spares you can even uh, display them accordingly also so one for use yeah. and the rest is you just display all together so all i think right. it's actually a very nice touch to it mm. yeah it does I think it's collectors will be still. Yeah, but unfortunately, because it's not very is um, not so detailed, the articulation for some of the parts are not very precise, not very detailed. So certain poses you are unable to do. Like for this one, I tried. Trust me when I try. Uh, when I say I tried my best to replicate the exit pose as much as I could, but this is the most that the joint could bend. So, do take note, don't expect too much out of it, it's a very cheap toy after all. But, it's still a good toy to have. It's a fun, <laughs> it's a fun toy. Yep. Yep. So with that said, what is our final verdict for these products all together? I say it's a thumbs up. Yes, it's a thumbs up. Yep. So they're all collectors worthy, it's just depending whether you want to go with the right watches or you want to go with the, the Soto toys. Soto toys. Or yep. why not both if you can get, which I'll highly suggest if you are very, if you are a true rider fan. Yeah. I'm not, okay, not really, that's maybe a bit too far. If you're, no, you're not, if you're a rider fan, if you're trying to get into the rider yes. fan, right. your fandom, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I guess uh, looking at the time is now finished time. Yes, it yes. is. It's time to. Why do you keep activating? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so thank you all very much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe to us and ring the bell at the side so you can get notified of all of our updates. At the same time, follow us on our socials and join us on Discord. We'll be there most nights so you can talk to us there. Mm. So, once again, thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna watch us out. Independent. <laughs> <laughs>